Hello, bienvenidos, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, as you can tell by the title, we are doing a what's in my iPhone. I've never, ever, ever, I don't think, I've ever filmed a what's in my iPhone video and I just got the brand new iPhone 11. So I'm gonna show you everything I have in here. If you guys love being nosy like I do and seeing what kind of apps other people use and everything like that, you guys are gonna be able to be chismosos and chismosas with me and you guys are gonna be able to see everything that I have on, well, pretty much everything as far as apps. Before we get into it, if you are new here, I post beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, like all sorts of different content. I'm especially gonna be posting a lot more, even better quality content now that I have my new iPhone. But if you like all of that stuff, make sure to subscribe. If you want, you can turn on your post notifications as well. And for those of you who are not new and you guys already know this face right here and you're subscribed, notifications are on everything. And welcome back but without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video before we get into what's in my phone let's talk a little bit about the actual phone itself so i am somebody who's coming from an iphone 8 plus that is a phone i had right before this and i did like that phone i liked the camera i liked everything about it but i feel like it was time for an upgrade um, I did have the option of upgrading to the iPhone 10 or the X. I didn't want to just because I didn't like that it didn't have the home button and I liked the camera on my iPhone 8 a lot more. So I just, you know, stuck with that one and now I finally decided to just bite the bullet and upgrade my phone and I'm so glad that I did. So I got the iPhone 11, just the regular one. I did not get the one with the th three cameras. Well, the four cameras, I should say, because... We have obviously the front facing and then we have the two on the back the iphone pro and i think it's the iphone pro max i don't know there's two other ones those other ones have the three cameras right here and then they have the front facing camera as well i didn't get that one because the store i went to and around here they don't have at least for the carrier that i have they didn't have the white one with the three cameras the pro so I decided to just get this one anyway. And the only main differences from what I've heard is obviously that it doesn't have that third camera and what that third camera does, I think it zooms in a little bit more than these two do. Um, and then the battery life I think is a little bit more on that one. I think those are the main differences. So to me it's not really like a big deal. I tried both of them in store, they were both very similar to me. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the phone that I got and I'm gonna go through and show you like the different camera settings Let me turn on my um, Screen recording so you guys can see exactly what I see first things first when I log into my phone The first thing that you see is a very simple clean Situation, okay, I don't like to have too much going on on my phone. I have my phone pretty organized so on my first screen, I like to keep a minimal amount of apps. I like to be able to see my wallpaper before I unlock my phone and then right when I unlock it. I don't know what it is, I just do. So when I wake up in the morning, these are the first apps that I kind of check, which is why I like to have them in the front and in the beginning. So my messages, obviously, I do have my camera on here because I'm always taking photos. I do YouTube full time. Let me go on this camera real quick. Okay, let me turn it over. Here is what the camera quality looks like. Now keep in mind, I'm like, I have to look back and forth. Keep in mind that my room does not have the best lighting and the camera quality still looks good. What I like about this camera is that it's not harsh in the detailing, it's not harsh in the contrast and in the shadows. I found that with my iPhone 8 and with the iPhone 10 slash X, it was very very harsh even without like i feel like you had to use filters in order for it to look really nice whereas here i would i could take a photo like this and i feel like my skin looks okay it's not too harsh and it doesn't look weird that's the feeling that i got with my eight love the camera on this for sure let me show you a cool feature so when you turn the camera this way it zooms out it like backs up and you're able to capture a lot more of what's behind you which is amazing i love this feature especially when you're taking like a group photo i love that and then when you put it back up it zooms back into like selfie mode you still have all the other same features you have the video feature slow-mo time lapse i've heard there's something called a slow fee you can take a slow selfie it's kind of like a slow-mo video selfie i don't know how to do that but I need to learn 
portrait mode and then a panoramic picture as well but that's the um camera on there and then of course i have my photos i was doing an igtv clothing try on haul so i have clips from that uh, i have the weather app i always check the weather pretty much every single day when i wake up phone to make calls and contacts my mail my safari and then i have my business email as well i try to keep the red little notification bubbles on my apps i try to keep those to a minimum i don't know what it is i just don't like when my apps have that little bubble i try to clear them out it's just like an ocd thing but um yeah the ones that always have the bubbles are just my email ones and sometimes my messages but i can't stand like when it says or when I see people's phones and it has like 197 unread messages, five, like 50 missed calls and then like 1,947 emails. I cannot stand that. Okay, you can see on my second page it's a lot cleaner. I don't have any of those bubbles. So let's go ahead and talk about like how I organize these. I have these organized with like action words. I don't know why I just find it easier to find my apps that way. And it's just a little bit more fun, you know, to kind of rename your apps instead of having like it named productivity or like whatever Apple decides to name them. First one that I have is socialize and that's where I have all of or most of my social media accounts. So we have like Instagram on here, which I love going through. <laughs> I love going through here um for inspo and i try to keep my instagram very positive and with filled with people that i find inspiring in one way or another whether it's in the makeup industry whether it's in lifestyle whatever it is um quote pages law of attraction live i love following them they post like really inspirational stuff everything like that so that is my instagram and then of course we have my instagram feed if you guys aren't already following me on there I kind of have a little theme going and now that I have the new iPhone I cannot express to you how excited I am to shoot out some new content because I felt like my I, my iPhone 8 was amazing but it's always nice especially as an influencer to get a new better way of improving your quality so I actually just posted an IGTV of my clothing and jean try on how I'm going to be doing a lot more IGTVs I actually have a little mini Sephora haul coming on there soon um, if you guys want me to do a how I edit my Instagram photos video, I can definitely do that. I like to play around with different like themes and different color schemes. So yeah, that's Instagram. And then of course, I have Pinterest. I get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest as well. A lot of home decor stuff, hair inspo, outfit inspo, just everything. Just photos that I need for like mood boards if I want to create a mood board. I love coming on here and just looking at like for example like this really pretty home decor um we have like this would be a cute wallpaper we have um some home goals and i do have my own pinterest account too where i have like different categories i have home inspiration outfits hair nails i'll go ahead and link my pinterest below too if you guys want to check it out but i love posting and repinning and all of that stuff i just love it i don't use it as much but i feel like i need to because i always find a lot of my outfit inf inspiration on there snapchat i hardly use snapchat i have it just in case i ever feel like hopping on there twitter i also hardly use i do have it to kind of look at like memes or what people are talking about funny stuff home stuff just some of my favorite people that i love to follow too just seeing a different perspective I feel like people are a lot more open on Twitter, which I love. I just never got the hang of it. I don't know what it is. I can never be full on committed and consistent with Twitter, but it's always fun to go on there. Facebook and Facebook Messenger, I hardly use either. Work. So on here, like I said, uh, YouTube's my full-time thing. So on here, I have the YouTube app. Let me just go on that so you guys can see kind of the people I'm subscribed to. We have Alyssa Ashley, Daisy Cash, Maggie McDonald, Raven Elise, Katie. I can go on and on and on about XO, Dulce Candy. I just love all of these people right here and following along with their everyday, you know, posts and stuff. But um, if you, any of you out there are influencers or you want to join the YouTube community and post videos and stuff, a really good app to have is the YouTube Studio app because on here you can really see your analytics and stuff. You can go on there and see like all of your comments for all your videos. And I just think it's a better app to use, especially to upload thumbnails because the YouTube, 
the regular YouTube app doesn't really let you edit your thumbnails and add them in. Um, it's just a better app to have to really get into those like more detailed aspects of YouTube. Magic Links, I just use that to link my outfit stuff on my stories and on YouTube. Like to know it. Um, I hardly use that app. I know a lot of people use it to link outfits and stuff, but I haven't really got the hang of it, so that's that. I have a subscriber account live app, but the thing with this that's like really been bothering me for the past like week, not necessarily with the app, but with YouTube, my page has been stuck at 250,000 subscribers even. It's been stuck there. I hit that like three weeks ago or so and it went up to almost 251,000 and then it dropped and now it's just been stuck there for like a week and that's very unusual. That never happens. I think something's going on with my account. I don't know if a lot of people are experiencing that, but it's been stuck there and even when I refresh it, it just says 250,000. Usually the number goes up and down every single day. So I don't know what's going on with that. I have to figure that out. Anyways, I have iMovie. Uh, in case I ever want to edit anything on my phone, which I tried to do my IGTV on here, but it's just too small. It's time consuming. I have eye scanner and Zoom, which is like work stuff. Eye scanner, you can use that if you want to scan something to a company or something. And then Zoom is what I use for conference calls if I ever need to hop on a conference call. Photograph. This is where I hold all of my photo editing apps. We have Facetune, which I use Facetune for a lot of fun stuff. I use it for the smoothing, details, reshaping, patch, and the tones. Those are the main things I use. I love using the smoothing, obviously, to really get into those details. And, like, if I want to smooth, like, under eyes, you can definitely do that. Very small detail work. Um, I also love using details. If I want to really bring out, like, my eyelashes, you can zoom in. And really bring those out um, I'm like going into detail but this can all be in a separate video reshaping if I ever want to add more definition to my hair if I want to add more volume I can always add more volume to it as you can see right there yeah fun app and then Facetune 2 is very similar it just has what I like about this one is mainly the black and white you go to retouch, you go to B&W, which is the black and white feature. And you can make anything black and white. You can adjust how desaturated you want it. And you can erase if you only want certain parts black and white, etc, etc. So those two apps are cool. I don't want to go too in-depth with this section because that is literally going to be in a separate video if you guys would like to see it. Lightroom, it took me a while to learn this app, but I use this for all of my color editing and to use presets. That's how I get my photos to all look cohesive and similar. So I love this app. This is probably the app I use the most now along with Visco. I had this one nice and organized with all of my favorite presets, but when I switched phones, it kind of deleted all of that. I don't know why. But now I have to go and reorganize, but I love using Visco as well. Snapseed's good to go ahead and remove any people from the backgrounds. Cut Story is a good app to use, excuse me, if you want to cut up a video. For example, I have this video of me talking, and before, Instagram wouldn't let you post videos that were longer than 15 seconds. If you wanted to post videos longer than 15 seconds, you had to break them up in 15 second, second increments. And this app does exactly all work for you. So you just go on that little arrow thing and you click Instagram. Cuts it up in two parts of 15 seconds or so. Now though, you can go on Instagram. And if your video is longer than 15 seconds, it already cuts it up for you when you put it on your story, which is very convenient. I probably won't be needing to use that app as much anymore, but I just have it anyway. Ultralight is good for coloring. Hooji's really cool. I think that's how you say it. Uh, let me turn it over to me. It's kind of like a disposable camera on your phone. You just hold it and you can see that it takes like a really cool, like super saturated disposable camera looking um, photo. I don't know, this is a fun app for certain posts that you make. And then preview I have um, in order to see my Instagram feed before I post a photo. So what I mean by that is if for example, I wanna post um a certain photo 
I can go on this app and see how it's gonna look on my feed before I post it. So these two right here I had on here because I wanted to see before I posted them which one I wanted to post first. And you can switch them from different spots to see if which one goes better. You can delete and then that kind of pushes your feed forward and you're able to kind of organize your feed and see which photos you want to post first because sometimes you don't want to post two back-to-back -back selfies because it throws off the vibe of your feed. If you don't care about that stuff, then you don't need this app. But if you're like, you know, you want to have a certain look on your feed, then that's a perfect app for that. We have Unfold, Story Out, and Story, Story Art, and Story Lux, which are all good apps to use to create Instagram stories. I mainly like to use story lux because you can, um, for example, let me show you. Like if I wanted to add two different photos there, I don't know, I'm just kind of putting random stuff together, but you can create like fun little collages like that. And then they have different templates that you can use. You can swipe and they have a bunch of different kinds of templates really fun stuff to create really cool instagram stories and that one lets you do videos too which is cool and so does story art and then the cooney app i like to use that to add dust i have this video of my ponytail the other day and if you want to add like dust this is what i mean it adds like that cool little feature or you can add uh like this to it too you can add different lights, different light, you know, streaks. You can add filters. Um, glitch, glitch -a. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I don't really use that, um, to be honest. A lot of these, like Glitch-A, A&M, Camon, Camon Classic, I just have those in case I ever want to do something a little bit different than I normally post because those add kind of more of that the really cool filtered like vibe kind of thing going there so that's always really fun to kind of play with magic eraser is if I ever want to create any um, PNG I think is what it's called so what I mean by that is I'm able to erase the backgrounds and create a transparent background it shows black and white here but you can kind of see like that you can erase if you only want your body in it or whatever i'm just doing it really ugly and messy right now now i have a png a clear photo of my body so that's what i use that app for i just have like random stuff some stuff i use a lot sometimes sometimes i don't use any of this stuff pick monkey canva those are all stuff i use for thumbnails and i have a video rotating app photo bucket i don't even know why i have the photo bucket app i can't log into my photo bucket google photos dropbox and then i have this like random app then in my singing app i have of course spotify i do have a spotify you guys can follow me on there i have different playlists i have a vacation playlist workout playlist chill sexy vibes party vibes in your feels wedding vibes hip-hop like i just have different types of playlists on there pandora i don't really use apple music i hardly use and then i have my podcast app which i occasionally use i don't have too many podcasts that i listen to but if i do i just have it there my shopping so on here one of my favorite apps i don't know why i have it down here but amazon you guys know i love amazon wayfair my first page is kind of like home slash makeup then i have the eat section i have starbucks and my panera one i have my panera app because whenever i'm in a rush and i want to eat something good i will just order like a salad or i'll order a sandwich or whatever go to the store pick it up walk right out and i don't have to wait in line bj's jamba juice open tables cool if you want to make reservations for a restaurant and then i have the tasty app which on here is cool because I can find really simple recipes and it shows you a video of how to do it like quick easy I don't know I just like this app we have some baked avocado tacos right here see how it shows you literally the quickest video of how to do it and it tells you the order how much to put if you scroll down it shows you literally it gives you a list of everything you need to purchase and how much of everything so that's cool and then of course uber eats and postmates which i hardly really use finance um 
boring stuff, adulting stuff. I have PayPal, the Cash App, Credit Karma. I love using Credit Karma, by the way, if you guys want to check like your credit scores. Venmo, Bill.com I use for like when I get paid for YouTube and stuff. And then some of my um, banks. Then organize. I don't have much here. I have my notes on here. I love using my notes for little things like creating grocery lists. Right here I need triple A batteries and a new brush for my hair. I also like making my lists on here for when I'm packing. I write literally everything that I need to take. The Calendar Op 2 app. I love this app. It lets you color code. I think the app, um, I'm sorry, the Calendar app on the iphone lets you do this too but i was just looking for a different calendar app to use and this one i've been using and i love it you go there you can put title whether it's all day you can put alerts you can repeat it you can change you can color code so i have my red for work family bills like all that stuff and i just love the app and then i have my alarm clock there too for travel on here i have mainly just apps that i use when i'm on the go so my maps and ways i love using ways it literally finds the fastest route to get to where you're trying to go whether it's on the freeway whether it's on the street it takes you through like the nooks and crannies and it gets you to the fastest way i've compared ways with like google maps and the ways is always like a little bit faster even if it's like three minutes sometimes it's even 10 minutes so i always use that app for everything i have the disneyland app google maps uber lyft airbnb like all of my apps that i use when i'm looking for tickets or flights so airbnb on hotels expedia kayak mile iq is actually a mile app it counts all the miles from when i'm driving and i'm able to categorize it whether they're miles for work or miles just for personal and because i do my taxes obviously by myself or i go get them done i have to keep track of all that stuff i have to keep track of the miles that i use for when i go on business trips or when i go on to events and i have to drive out somewhere all of that stuff all the miles i have to count all that so that's a good app for that hopper and sky scanner those are good if you're looking for like cheap flights and then currency this is a good one to have when you're traveling you don't need wi-fi with this one which is why i recommend getting it if you for example we went to cabo and i just wanted to make sure even though i have a good idea of like pesos i wanted to make sure that you know i was converting it right so if you put 70 us dollars you can convert it and 70 us dollars is 1363.6 pesos converts you can pick where you're going you put the plus you can go through wherever you're going and you can convert it which is cool move this just has like apartment um apartment and home apps where you can search for apartments near you near you or homes that are being sold near you i just have all of these different apps to kind of go through and then i have health i have the flow app which on here surprise surprise it's day one day one okay day one on my period which is so fun so so fun this is a period tracking app so on here literally you just go and you can see when you're fertile when you're gonna start your period how long it gives you a good estimate so you log it every single time that you get it and every time you log something it adjusts to when they think you're going to be ovulating or when your, your next cycle is going to be all of that i love using this app and for me it's kind of spot on but it's because my cycle is very on and off i don't have a consistent like month to month period but it is usually very good at predicting and everything so i like to use it for that especially if you are like trying to get pregnant or something it tells you literally like this day right here october 20th there's a high chance of getting pregnant so it tells you all of that stuff it's a good app to have i also have natural cycles which i don't use i got it because i was thinking of using it before i like switched out my birth control but this is an app you can use you're supposed to take your temperature and it tells you again what days you're like ovulating or when there's a high chance of you getting pregnant it's kind of like a natural route a natural birth control route if you don't want to use birth control you can kind of track your cycle on there and it tells you it basically tells you like what days you should and should not have sex if you are or are not trying to get pregnant so that's very very helpful and um i don't know how accurate it is i can't speak for it because i've never used it but that's 
you know another option and then inspire so on here i have my daily horoscope i didn't even read mine for today and then co-star i have um i'm still trying to figure this one out i just like it because it sends me a, like a daily horoscope automatically and lastly on here just miscellaneous stuff stuff that i feel like i just don't use i don't know why i have it some things i have to have them but it's like the app store i kind of have to have that my settings yelp i hardly use yelp when i do it's there find my iphone facetime just wallet bitmoji calculator just things i hardly use are just kind of like there so that's pretty much how i organize everything and what is on my iphone hopefully it wasn't too like all over the place i hope it was like cool to kind of see what apps i use and let me know if there's an app that you don't have that you're thinking of getting i'm really interested in seeing and if there's an app that you have that you feel like i need in my life let me know in the comments too because i'm always looking for cool new apps to add into my phone and to kind of organize and stuff and yeah so i hope you guys liked this little video of what's in my new iphone 11. i think that's pretty much all i have for you guys today i'm so i don't know why i'm still sick but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for watching i love you all los quiero mucho and i will see you all in my next video mm -hmm.